What's up, my dear friends of the world? Paul the Trombonist here, and I want to welcome you to the Virtual Midwest Clinic. Be sure to check out the RMI, aka Rent My Instrument, booth, because what they got going on there is out of this world. So you're definitely going to want to see what they got going on there. It's pretty happening, if I say so myself. I want to present to you a video that I did on how to kind of go about thinking about how to get a good sound on your instrument. So go ahead and check that out and talk soon. Hey everybody, Paul the Trombone is here. Now a question that I get asked more than any other question by far is how to get a good sound on the trombone. Before we start, let me just tell you that what I'm about to, to explain can actually be applied to any instrument, not just the trombone. And that there's going to be a mental component along with the physical component. And those work together to create the sound that you so desire. Now, I've never met a musician in my entire life that says that they don't want their sound to get better. So just realize that the sound and your concept of sound is something that you're always going to search for for the rest of your life to constantly get better at where you're at in this moment. You have to listen to lots of players on your instrument. You have to listen to so many players on your instrument. And what's going to end up happening is the things you like about their playing are just gonna go inside of your being. You're actually going to be able to draw from that experience of listening to these players that you like. That's the mental aspect of it. Now the physical aspect of it is the more long tones you do, whether it's on a wind instrument or a string instrument, the more long tones you do, the better your sound is going to get. And that's all because the muscles either here or the muscles here have to be fine-tuned and developed where you're able to have control over the overtones that exist. And the more refined and more control over the overtones that you get, the better your sound is going to become. So it involves a lot of listening, listening to players that you like, listening to that the ones that really inspire you and you you get that concept and, and listen to another person, get that concept, and then you just take all of these elements you like from these other players and you do these long tones and then your sound is gonna get better and better over time. So when I do the long tones, I like to think of like a nice wall of sound. I, I like the concept of a wall of sound. So almost like a pipe organ, you know, like when you're, you're listening to an organ and they hit that key and it's like, ah. Uh, there's no wavering so much in the sound, and that's what I like to visualize with these long tones. And you literally just want to create the wall of sound. And the more long tones you do, the better your sound will get. So I just literally just go through all of them, and I, and I treat it almost like meditation. It's like meditating. You just want to kind of get lost in the sound and just really want that sound to just really, really, really uh, kind of overtake you. And I literally do that all throughout the horn and all the registers. And it's not going to happen unless you listen to a lot of people that you respect on your particular instrument. And I find that this phrase rings true. The more listening and long tones you do, the better your sound becomes. Thank you so much. Be sure to follow me on the social networks. I got a Facebook page. I got the Instagram page. I got the Twitter page and I got the YouTube channel. I'm Paul the Trombonist on most of the networks, except for on Twitter, where I'm Jazz Trombonist. It's a little different, but I'm sure you'll be able to find me. Thank you so much for the support. You're the best. Take care. Be sure to check out the RMI booth, aka Rent My Instrument.